<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, this is your weekly reading. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in Um, before I forget. The messages that I got for you, Divine Masculine, was you are innocent. So when I was, you know, before I started, before I decided to do y'all reading, I was trying to decide who, who to do first. <clears throat> Did I want to do Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine first? And I heard Spirit say, do Divine Masculine because Divine Masculine is innocent. So, that's the message I got. Do Divine Masculine first because Divine Masculine is innocent. So, that's the messages. This week's reading, I am going to do an oracle. I'm going to pull the oracles from this deck right here. Every day, every day which oracles... So, I'm going to read y'all oracle, and then I'm going to pull you guys an angel answer. So, Divine Masculine, the oracle that came out for you was Speak Your Mind. So, Speak Your Mind. Excuse me, I had to close my door. <clears throat> this oracle right here is of the air element. So, this is all about thought and the minds. So, Divine Masculine, you could be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. don't have to be. But I'm going to go ahead and read it. So this is your oracle and this is also what's crowning your energy. And as well, when I pulled this card, it made me think of the lovers. Like the lovers card in tarot. So Divine Masculine, you could definitely be a Gemini. Don't have to be. Um, as well, the lovers in the upright. Um, it could be letting me know, Divine Masculine, you're going to make some type of wise decision. Because the lovers in the upright is making a wise choice. So, it say, speak your mind. The element of air rules over speech, probably because our words are carried on our breath. Many of us have a hard time have a hard time saying what is really on our minds. We either hold back from speaking because of insecurity or fear of causing a fuss, or we speak too freely or clumsily, never quite managing to say what we want to to the way we want it to come out. Open, honest communication is hard, but it is also the cornerstone of all good relationships, whether personal or professional, so it is worth making the effort to get it right, no matter how difficult that might be. If you pull this card, the universe is probably telling you that you need to speak up. Is there an issue or situation that you have been struggling with, maybe keeping silent when you had something important to say? Do you feel as though you are being heard at work or in your personal relationships remember that you can speak your mind politely and assertively without being nasty or argumentative if you get to speak your mind that means you have to listen too but don't let anyone or any anything rob you of your own voice don't let anyone or anything rob you of your own voice so divine masculine this is your oracle and this is crowning your energy this week so, let me pull you guys an angel answer. What is Divine Masculine's angel answer for this week? Okay, I'm only taking one. What is Divine Masculine's angel answer for this week? Okay, and we have abundance. So, abundance, let me read it. <clears throat> abundance. And that's a good answer to have. Abundance. Okay, it say, great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield, your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not always financial in nature. I'm gonna read that again. Abundance is not always financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends, vibrant health, or romantic love. This card can also reflect the inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. Open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire. So this abundance divine masking could be of the material world, some money, some wealth. It can be um, having good health. Or it can be in love. 
But your answer for this week is abundant. Some type of abundance. Whether it's in your health. That could be your physical health. Mental health. It can be concerning love. Romance. Okay. So, your first card out, Divine Masculine, was the Tower. So, this is the Major Arcana for Scorpio. Divine Masculine, you could be a Scorpio, you don't have to be. But this is the Tower. This is something unexpected. Something unexpected. It could be good or bad. But clarify, the Tower was the Tower. So, we got two Towers. Two Towers. Scorpio or Aries energy. Divine Masculine, you could be Aries as well. You got Aries somewhere in your chart. If Aries is not your sun sign, it could be, you know, in other placements of your birth chart. So we got a tower clarifying a tower. Hold on. Okay. So when I asked for more information about the tower, the Eight of Swords came out. The Eight of Swords. So, Divine Masculine, if this is you, again, you could be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini. This could be some type of um, self-imposed self self prison. Um, it's like a self-imposed prison, like your own inner thoughts. Um, this is also self-inflicted. This is like someone overanalyzing, thinking the worst. You did something too many times. You allow something to happen to go on too many times, and it's like you feel trapped. Somebody don't know how to get out of a situation mentally. Or this could be prison. What well, clarified the Eight of Swords was the Page of Pentacles. Divine Masculine, you could be an Earth sign, a Capricorn towards a Virgo, don't have to be. Um, but this Page of Pentacles is a small offer. It's a small offer, a small suggestion. It could be an apology. It could be the beginning stages of being practical. Like the beginning stages. <clears throat> the page of pentacles is also like someone starting school. So divine masculine. This could be you signing up for college. So it's like the page of pentacles is like a freshman. The page of pentacles can also be someone who's immature. They're not responsible. Whether in the upright or in reverse, the page of pentacles could be somebody that's irresponsible. So, how I usually do the readings is I usually do the tea leaf deck, but I'm not going to do the tea leaf. I'm going to use the um, masculine tarot deck right here. What's going on with the tower with divine masculine? Okay, we got the king of cups. Divine masculine, you could be a water sign. Don't have to be. But this king of cups is emotional mastery. The king of cups is also intuitive. So, Divine Masculine, you could be going through some a tower moment. But, and it's like, you got to control your emotions. The tower, is this Divine Masculine? This tower right here, the first tower. No. The second tower, is this Divine Masculine? Okay. So, Divine Masculine, somebody around you, this is not you. This tower is not you. It could be a water sign. But somebody around you, it could be a, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Somebody is having a tower moment. A Pisces is having a tower moment. And um, I'm getting cause and effect. I'm getting cause and effect. So, for example, Divine Masculine, this is you. Let me know this tower right here, this is you. And this is somebody else. Possibly a water sign. Don't have to be. But Divine Masculine, I think you could have caused this tower moment for someone. It's like you don't give a damn. I'm getting a little bit you don't give a damn. You don't give a damn. Clarify the, the second tower. Clarify the second tower. Divine Masculine. Clarify Divine Masculine in this tower. Okay. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you don't give a damn. The Two of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who got their priorities all messed up. Um, Or this is somebody who don't give a damn. 
Two of Pentacles in reverse. Divine Masculine, this could be you quitting a job. This could be you leaving a relationship, leaving behind some type of responsibilities. I don't know if you're doing in, doing this this week, Divine Masculine, or you did this in the past. Because the Two of Pentacles in reverse is like somebody either a hot mess, somebody who don't give a damn. Or the Two of Pentacles in reverse is like Divine Masculine, you could have dropped something. You could have dropped the responsibility. So, Divine Masculine, say like you had two jobs. Or you could have had two jobs or you had two women. Somebody got dropped. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody got dropped. So, it's like you're not juggling no more. So, if you had two jobs, you could have been dealing with a boss that was cocky. You got two jobs, you got two streams of income. And one of them jobs, you let go. You let go. And your boss could be a water sign. But you causing a towel moment for somebody else. And I heard you don't give a damn. You don't give a damn. So you drop something. You're dropping something this week. Clarify the, uh, king, the king of cups. Clarify this king of cups. Four pentacles in reverse. Four pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this king of cups take a loss. This king of cups, he takes a loss. Yeah, he takes a loss. Um, Divine Masculine, you could have been um, doing something illegal. And it's like, um, you could have been, you had your 9 to 5. You, you know, you was on the books. One of your jobs was on the books. The other job was off the books. And I'm picking up the job that was off the books. You're going to drop that job. The job that was off the books. But the King of Cups is going to take a loss. And that King of Cups is not you. Because you dropped something. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So the Four of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who, um, who like, saving, savings account is depleted. The Four of Pentacles in reverse is, like, somebody who ran out of money, funding, savings. Somebody who had to pay a bill, an unexpected expense. Four of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know, Divine Masculine, if this King of Cups expected you to foot the bill <clears throat> or take, you know, take a loss for him. And you said, I think not. So, the Eight of Swords, is this Divine Masculine? No, the Eight of Swords is not you. Yeah. This Eight of Swords could be the King of Cups. This Eight of Swords is not you. So the King of Cups is experiencing an unexpected tower moment because Divine Masculine, you dropped the ball. You letting something go. And this King of Cups is a source. This King of Cups was doing something to you, Divine Masculine, and they, this person kept doing it. So it's like, whatever you let go of this week, it's like this King of Cups had it coming to him. Because this King of Cups kept doing something to you. So it's like, you didn't do it to him. It's like this person left you no choice. They left you no choice, Divine Masculine. So, yeah. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. This King of Cups is in their head about a collaboration. And this could definitely be work. Whether legal or illegal. This King of Cups is in their head about a collaboration. Um, this could be a third party situation. If this is wrong, the King of Cups, is this a mask on? Is this a man? This King of Cups, is it a man? Huh. Um, this King of Cups can be a man. <clears throat> Divine masculine. If this King of Cups is a man, this is like concerning like some type of work or career. But I'm picking up, if this King of Cups is a man, it's illegal work. So you had some legal work and, and you had, you know, you had, I'm picking up, you had two jobs. One of them was on the books, the other one wasn't. And if this King of Cups is a female, this could have been in romance. And you could have got tired of this female putting you in a third party. This female could have had kids, Divine Masculine, this Three of Pentacles. This female could have had kids by you or somebody else. 
And it's like you getting tired of the baby mama, baby daddy drama. So it's like you drop this female. So it's like divine masculine. This king of cups could be the karmic. And it's like whether you got kids or not by the karmic, it's like you drop her because it's like you already got you you was juggling. So it's like you was probably with the karmic. But it's like you had somebody else too. And it's like you get tired of this karmic in this three of pentacles. So this could be you getting tired of the karmic, letting her baby father come to the house, come inside the house. You catch the karmic emailing, texting her baby father. Because the three of pentacles could be like um, co-parenting. Co-parenting. So if this king of cups is a female, it could be a karmic to you, divine masculine. And you got tired of some like uh, some baby daddy, baby mama stuff. And it's like you told this king of cups, whether this king of cups is a man, a co-worker, or this king of cups is a karmic lover. I'm getting, you kept telling this person, whatever they was doing in the story of Pentacles, you was telling them not to do it, and they kept doing it. So you dropped them. Yep. You dropped them. So basically, this King of Cups was calling your bluff. What was going on with this Three of Pentacles? Yeah. The King of Swords and that Three of Pentacles. Yep. The Three of Swords. And the Three of Pentacles clarified the King of Swords. So this is somebody's ex. So that King of Cups can definitely be like a karmic lover, Divine Masculine. And you got tired of her collaborating, collaborating with her ex. Yeah. Yep. So you you dropped you dropped somebody. You dropped them. The page of pentacles. Is this divine masculine? This page of pentacles? Mm. Yeah, that page of pentacles. Yeah. Divine masculine, I'm getting if this page of pentacles is you, you might you're gonna hmm I'm kind of getting you don't give a damn divine masculine but you're gonna be like a gentleman about it like you're not gonna be rude so this page of pentacles this is like you you letting go of this king of cups whether it's a co-worker or a lover you're letting go of this king of cups but it's like this is you like um like Divine Masculine, if you was dealing with a karmic lover, this is like you leaving this karmic lover, you breaking up with this karmic. But it's like this page of pentacles is like, say like y'all was living together and the rent was like a thousand dollars. This is you giving this person maybe like three hundred of the thousand dollars. So you toss them something before you leave. That's what I'm getting from that page of pentacles energy. Yeah, you toss this, you get this person something before you leave. But you out. Something like that. What's going on with this page of pentacles? Yeah, justice. Yep, this is karma. A little bit, yep. Page of pentacles. Um, Divine masculine, you could be a Libra, don't have to be. Because it's like, Divine Masculine, you could be a Libra. It don't, you don't have to be. But it's like, in this page of Pentacles, energy, it's like, you're going to do the right thing. It's like, you're doing the right thing. You're being fair. So it's like, if this is a karmic lover, even though you decide to leave and you drop this karmic, this is like you, that page of Pentacles, energy, like I said, if the rent or the mortgage was $1,000, Divine Masculine, you're not just going to leave this person high and dry. You're going to give them something towards the rent or the mortgage, but you out. Something like that. So let me know you do the right thing. You do the right thing. Or you did the best you can in that justice energy. Yep. Or Divine Masculine, this King of Cups. If this King of Cups was like a co-worker. <sighs> Divine Masculine, for an example. Say like this King of Cups was your boss. Say like this King of Cups was your boss. And you drove trucks under the table for this uh, King of Cups. Say like you was, you know, driving trucks. It's like if you wanted to divine masculine, you could just, you're not going to be ignorant about it. You're going to quit this job. But this page of pentacles is like you returning this man's truck to him. 
you're going to just return the truck. It probably don't have gas in it, but you're going to drop off his truck to him. Because you quitting. You quitting. But it let me know you did the right thing. Page of Pentacles or not, you did the right thing. Because I don't know, Divine Masculine, maybe in the past, you would have kept that truck. Skip town. You probably would have kept that man truck. It wasn't yours, but you would have kept it. Because it's let me know, Divine Masculine, you two of Pentacles in reverse. And I heard you don't give a damn. Yep, you don't give a damn. Because that King of Cups was doing something like disrespectful to you. This person underestimated you. Whether it's a co-worker, a superior, or a lover. That King of Cups is disrespecting you. So this King of Cups is taking a loss. They four pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> yeah. Um, this King of Cups is going to come have to come out their pocket. And it could be the rest of their savings. This King of Cups is going to have to come out their pocket. Because they was underestimating you. So Divine Masculine, if you was living with a karmic... And she was still like entertaining her ex. Say like you say like divine masculine, you used to pay all the bills. And it's like this karmic, you know, you was letting her live a good life. She was able to save her money. But it's like the Div divine masculine, you're gonna leave this karmic. And it's like she's gonna have to come out her pocket. She's gonna have to come out her pocket and pay that rent or that mortgage because you're not doing it. Yep. So I'm gonna go up here to the top. So, the card that clarify your oracle, speak your mind. So, I wanted to clarify your oracle, see what was going on with your oracle, and then say the lovers right here. The lovers came out, so Divine Masculine could be a Gemini, don't have to be. But, like I said, this could be you, Divine Masculine, making a wise decision. The lovers in the upright. It's also confirming to me, of course, that you're a twin. So, because the lovers is like twin flame. So it's just confirming to me like Divine Masculine, you a twin. You Divine Masculine. But I think the lovers is you made a, a wise decision. What clarified the lovers was the Eight of Wands. So Divine Masculine, this could be this King of Cups reaching out to you. Yeah, the King of Cups. Whoever you let go of Divine Masculine this week, you're going to make a wise decision. The lovers is making a wise choice. And this person going to be chasing after you, the Eight of Wands. This person could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Don't have to be. But this person is going to be trying to get you to change your mind. Because this is you making your decision. You cause the tower moment. You don't give a damn. And this person is chasing you. Now they want to talk about it. Eight of Wands. They want to talk about it. They want to compromise now. They want to apologize in that Eight of Wands energy. Clarify the Eight of Wands. What's going on with this Eight of Wands? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Now this person want to pay you. Six of Pentacles. This could definitely be in career. This can be in career. So, Divine Masculine, if you had two jobs and you dropped one of them, your boss is going to call you back or, or, or your business partner or a co-worker. They're going to be calling you back because now they want to be fair to you. Now they want to now they want to give you the rest of your your income. Now they want to give you what's what's due to you, the 6 of pentacles. This is a payout. This is a payout. And this person is bothered. This person is bothered. Or this person could be calling you divine is my elbow. Um this person could be trying to reach out to you. Because they don't want to be like this. They don't want to be four pentacles in reverse. So this could be them reaching out to you like, you know, Divine Masculine, why you do that? You know, why did you leave? Why did you quit? Why did you dump me? Why did you, you know, why did you do that? Um, I got bills and stuff. I need you to come back. I got bills. So this person could be comp complaining to you about them having to pick, come out their pocket. Having to come out their pocket. Something like that. Clarify the lovers. This decision to buy mask and make. Clarify the lovers. Clarify the, clarify the lovers. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. The hermit in reverse. Divine mask and you could be a Virgo. Don't have to be. Um, But this choice you make, the hermit in reverse. Or divine mask and you could be dealing with a Virgo. 
So you made a wise decision. And it could have caused this somebody else some type of depression. Because the hermit in reverse could be depression. Or Divine Masculine, you're making a wise choice to right or wrong. That's what I'm getting as well. It's like you could have been the hermit in reverse. The hermit in reverse, this could be foolishness. This could be depression. But it's like because you made a wise choice, you you it's like you... If this hermit in reverse energy is you, it's like you made a wise decision to right a wrong. To right a wrong. Or it's letting me know the hermit in reverse is this person that you dropped. This person is depressed. And they probably go off somewhere and hide their tail. Something like that. The hermit in reverse. Is this divine master? Yeah, that's you. Divine Masculine, you you make a decision this week to right a wrong. Because you was the hermit in reverse. So this is like depression, foolishness, things like that. The hermit in reverse is not good. So you made a decision to right a wrong. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. So you dropping, dropping this pentacle. You dropped the pentacle. You dropped something. You dropped something in or someone. And it was a wise decision because it's you, right? You're writing a wrong. You're fixing something. You're doing the right thing. Something like that you doing. So when I ask for more information about your oracle, speak your mind. The sun came out. So divine masculine, you could be a Leo. Don't have to be. Divine Masculine, you could be dealing with a Leo. Don't have to be. But the sun is all, all about exposure. The sun could signify career. The sun can also signify marriage. What well, clarified the sun was the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. So, Divine Masculine, that Ten of Swords can be you. Either way around it, there's a painful ending. Or somebody feels betrayed because something was exposed. Somebody could feel betrayed because of something some, Something was exposed. There could be a painful ending to a marriage. There could be a painful ending or someone feeling betrayed concerning career. This Ten of Swords, is this Divine Masculine? Mm. The Sun. What's going on with the Sun? Clarify the Sun. What's going on with the sun? The chariot. The chariot. The Vimasin. You could be a cancer. Don't have to be. Whew. The sun. What is the sun telling me? Is this exposure? Is this exposure? Yeah. Something was exposed. It could have been something around a car. Something was exposed. It could have been something around a car. Divine Masculine, something could have been exposed. Someone could have been an enemy to you. Because um, the chariot is battle. The chariot is battle. Um, so, for example, Divine Masculine, say like this King of Cups is a karmic lover. And it's like... The, your karmic lover, whether you have kids by this karmic or not, it's like your lover, this karmic lover, was still involved with the king of swords. Notice the knight of swords. That say the knight of swords, the knight. But either way, I'm still picking up an ex. So divine masculine, you could have been involved with a karmic lover who was still involved with their ex. Because whatever this three of pentacles was, is is it was, it was. It wasn't good. It was very negligent. This Three of Pentacles was very negligent, very irresponsible, very disrespectful. That's what I'm getting with the Knight of Swords. So this still could have been a karmic still dealing with an ex. So, Divine Masculine, you could have found out that your karmic lover is like the chariot could have been the Knight of Swords. So this is, could have been, unbeknownst to you, Divine Masculine, that this karmic is still dealing with her ex. So it's like this is him... Gearing up for battle. 
against you to come up against you. Maybe he wanted the karmic back. So something was exposed around a chariot. So this is something about a car or this is like divine masculine and enemy, a foe, a competitor. Because the chariot is also war, like battle. So some type of something competition or um, a war tactic was exposed. It was exposed. And then we got the chariot and then the knight of swords. Both of those cards uh, signify the police. The chariot and the knight of swords signify the police. So I'm getting divine masculine. You was either dealing with a job, a career, whether legal or illegal, or you dealing with a lover, a karmic lover. And it's like you drop this thing or this person because divine masculine is going to result in the chariot, which is the police, and the knight of swords, which is the police. So to avoid all that drama, divine masculine, I'm getting you left. You left something. Because something was exposed. Because you know you dealing with a karmic lover and her ex is still around and Divine Masculine. You find out that the ex want the karmic back and the karmic ain't even mention it to you. Something like that. You left Divine Masculine and then I heard you don't give a damn. This Ten of Swords, is this this King of Cups? This Ten of Swords, is this the King of Cups? No, it's not the King of Cups. The Ten of Swords, is this the Knight of Swords? This Knight of Swords energy. Yeah. Yep. That um Divine Masculine, the third party, whether it's in love or business, this Knight of Swords, possibly a karmic's ex. They could be a um Aquarius. This person could be an Aquarius. This person could have cancer in their chart. Don't have to be. But this is the person who feels betrayed. Somebody feels betrayed. Because something was exposed. But why would they feel betrayed? <clears throat> or Divine Masculine. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups. Oh, that's why, Divine Masculine. Because whoever you with, if this is like a karmic love of Divine, Divine Masculine, and it's like you, whether you have kids by this karmic or not, their ex wants them back. Their ex wants them back. And they feel betrayed because you're with the karmic and the karmic was their ten of cups. Yeah. So because this ex, this ex want the karmic back. That's why this, he, somebody got named masculine, this chariot energy. And that's like war. Yeah, so this is a masculine in your energy, divine masculine, that was gearing up to come against you and was willing to do any and everything to get the karmic back. Willing to do any and everything to get that karmic back. So, divine masculine, you drop this karmic. You drop her like a bad habit. And it told me you don't give a damn. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going on with you, divine masculine. Yup, something like that going on with you. Yeah, so, and what I want to say too, Divine Masculine, whoever this King of Cups is, whether it's a feminine and her masculine energy, could be a karmic lover, or it's like a co-worker, a boss, this King of Cups energy could have been on drugs. So, it's like Divine Masculine, you was, um... You was like foot in the bill for this King of Cups energy. It's like you was foot in the bill. It was like one hand washes the other, but it's like you was taking up most of the slack, Divine Masculine. Like you was, whatever this is, you was taking up most of the responsibility. And this person was like, they could have been getting high. This person was on drugs too. They was getting high. Yeah, this person. And that's why they underestimated you too, because they wasn't in reality. So this person, yeah, that King of Cups. Yeah, this person was on drugs. So 
So, um, whew, this, this is going to be a part two for Divine Master. I'm just letting y'all know it's going to be a part two. So, what's the tea with the first tower with this King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles in reverse? You're ghosted, disappearing, ghosting in and out, ghosted. So that's what you did, Divine Masculine. You ghosted this King of Cups, whether it's a karmic lover or a boss. It's like you just leave. So if, if this is a job, you just quit. If, if this is a karmic, you just break up with her. And this, if this is a karmic lover, it's like y'all was probably living together in Divine Masculine. You just leave and probably leave like two, three hundred dollars on the dresser, on the kitchen table, a note or something, and you leave. So this King of Cups is getting ghosted. You're going to ghost this King of Cups. Whether it's a job or a lover. Yeah. What's the tea with Divine Masculine with this karmic? I mean, with the Tower and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. What's the tea with that? The Tower and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Mirroring for money. Yeah, this person was using you for money, Divine Masculine. Yep, that's the tea. That's why you dropped this person like a bad habit. This person... 